Welcome, welcome, you and I, to another episode of the Global Latin Factor Podcast, where we talk about Latino everything. Thank you very much for being here. Make sure you go and subscribe to the channel of all the options out there on YouTube. Billions, you're here today, and we appreciate it. So go ahead, hit us up with a subscription, give us a comment, thumbs up, bell, you already know the deal. Go ahead and do it today. Amazing episode because we have a young group that is making a big wave here in the Dallas Forward area. We got Cruz with the accordion. Lead singer, Primera Voz, Alexis, Bajo Quinto, Chris, Bass, Edin, Drums, Los Chaparritos de la Cuadra. Hello. Aplausos, <laughs> aplausos. We didn't have a crowd today. Nah, Un día de estos. Good, I appreciate y'all being here. Nah, Thank yeah, you very much. Sure, for, Thank uh, you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen, like, it's hardly any weekend that I don't run into uh, one of y'all flyers. And yeah. are doing a show. Yeah, no, so you were just, busy. You yeah. was telling me you, you have a couple of shows coming up. Yeah, uh, well, today, actually, after here, we're yeah. going to be at a restaurant bar, uh, Muchacho Alegre, down uh -huh. here in Fort Worth. Nice. We're only like 20 minutes away. That's cool. Yeah, so we're there. Uh, tomorrow, we got two shows. We got a third one pending. So Sunday, we got another show as well. I think that one is a, yeah, another like sports bar. Yeah. Man. See what I mean? They stay busy. But yeah. first of all, we're going to get to know them. But first, we're going to do a, sec a segment that I like to call Preguntas al Chile. Once again, if you have not subscribed to the channel so you can see the graphics, the card is put together, go ahead and do it right now. Están listos. We're going to start Ready, with bro. Cruz, and we're going to go make our way over there. Let's do it. Tacos o tortas? See, you can't go wrong with tacos, bro. You can't true go wrong with tacos. Uh, tacos. Got to. Oh, tacos también. Tacos también. I'm going to contradict you on that, bro. Uh, listen to this. Right, let's listen get to it. This. Come on. Tortas, bro. They're bigger. They fill you up more. For real? That is true. Hell yeah. No, but well, it depends on what meat you get. But then you can get, like, multiple tacos. Tacos, you can get, like, five or Yo, ocho. But, but, but you pay meats. more. But you pay more. You pay more. Y luego una torta si no te llena? Yeah. If you don't fill up with one, you gotta have to get another torta. torta. It depends on where you get them from. And then if you buy two tortas, it's more expensive than more yeah. tacos. So. La, well, who said two? Can you put some in cilantro on a torta? We're talking nah, about, I'm just kidding. We're talking about tacos or tortas. One taco, one torta. Man, you know what? Tortas, bro. I'm going to stick with my tacos. You go with your torta. <laughs> Good argument, though. But I never said tacos. Tacos. I said tacos. Mm. But it could be mm. me. Mm. So. It's all good. Corn tortilla, flour tortilla? Uh, nah. Uh, corn. Corn. Yeah, corn for sure. Corn, también. It depends. Si es como de carne asada. Yeah. Mm. De desayuno. Este... Flour. Yeah. I'm gonna let you know right now. Tacos, don't ask him any questions because he will go into an argument for every <laughs> single topic. He's he gonna try to win. He's yeah. got he's got a good point though, because a lot of people do prefer in the mañanita. Yeah, the, the breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast tacos, flour, yeah. then yeah. you you go with the little greasy corn ones for the afternoon. Yeah. You know? afternoon. All right. Frijoles. So flour in the morning and la nochecita corn. más tarde. Yeah. Corn. Nice. Vale, pues. Gorditas o sopes. Damn, that's a hard one. Um I'm gonna go gorditas. 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 Sopes. Sopes. He's just doing like <laughs> I'm telling you. You gotta turn on sopes. Okay, Some ready? Sopes. Mexican coca, the soda, or jarritos? Uh, jarritos. I'll go with jarritos for that one. Mexican coca. What flavor jarrito? Um, sheesh. Uh, Man, yeah, like, like mandarina, mandarina or uh, pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Go hard. With a torta. Pineapple mm. with a with torta. torta. Jarritos también. Jar ¿Qué sabor? Uh, pineapple? Pineapple, yeah. Yeah, jarritos, mandarin. Mandarina? Yeah. yeah. Mandarina. You know what? I've been saying for a long time. Jarrito, what are you doing with the co cola? A Mexican cola. Nobody drinks. Any of y'all drink? Have you ever had one of the Mexican cola jarritos? Yeah, I have. Are they good? Yeah. You like them? You're good. one of the only ones that I, I know. Even, I, 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 if, you, if you buy the case of jarritos, yeah. um, it comes with different oh. flavors. And there's a col, uh, Me Mexican the, cola. Like the cola version on there? Yeah, cola. Sprite 2 is a Sprite 2. I, 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 I didn't even know, know that. I, mean, uh -huh. I, I know, know that. that. Everybody in my family don't like the cola. Mm. I'm like, why y'all have it here? Nobody. Y'all need like, le gusta la cola. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we started with the uh, blog. We're we taking it, picking it back on the blog. <laughs> okay. Uh, agua de horchata, Jamaica, o tamarindo. Horchata, for sure. Horchata. Horchata. Tamarindo. tamarindo. I'm not going to lie. I don't like horchata like that. You don't Tripping. like horchata? I prefer Jamaica. Yeah, me too. Nice. Me too. Salsa verde, salsa roja. Verde. Salsa verde. green. Yeah. Salsa roja. Roja, it depends on the verde. Real? Like the guacamole verde or like oh, the verde. Yeah. Like the creamy. No, nah. The original classic <laughs> verde. Roja. Like roja. Uh, well, if it's like the creamy green one, like. If it's verde, a creamy green yeah. one, I'll get that one. Yeah. Yeah, it will be the original one. Oh, okay. Pollo regio verde. 
Yeah, yeah. that one go hard. Oh, uh, you yeah. know that one? <laughs> hey, hold on. <laughs> No, we're not shouting out Puerto Regio, so cut that. I mean, yeah, we're not cut you out. Shout out to Puerto Regio. And hey, we are taking sponsorships, though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I used to work at Puerto Regio for, for real? years. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, one time, a place where I was living, they opened up uh, Puerto Regio. Mm -hmm. And I swear <laughs> I had that thing for like a week straight. For real? Because it was freaking you good. You don't get tired time. of it. Ah, it's good. It's good. don't get tired of it. Where was it or what? Uh, it was in a little town, Corsicana. They oh, never oh, have oh. a lot of things like that. But I swear, a week straight, I had it. Yeah. I don't need any meat anymore, but back then, a week straight, puro pollo right here. For real? Man, I had puro pollo, and then I tried the other stuff, the torta, and all oh, that. Yeah. Man, it was freaking delicious. Okay. Continuamos. Menudo o pozole. That one, it's because that one 50-50. It depends, mm -hmm. you know, si te levantas crudo the next day, you know, un menudito, menudito. Pero, you know, you can't go wrong with, you know, mom's made pozole, you know, so. Yeah. It, it depends. It depends. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a be. Some people were telling me that they're picky who get where they get their menudo. Yeah, that man depends because yeah. you know you grow yeah. up tasting one, you know, yeah, and if you, you go good. try another one, you might not like it as much. That's true. Too. Not that it's bad, you know, but you're used to one. You're yeah, used to the taste. Y tú? Pozole. 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 <laughs> yeah. Pozole. I got a question. Do you put maíz in your menudo? Yeah. yeah. Do you have I don't do that. Can people do no. that? Nah. I don't know. Nah, you don't, you don't do that. Your mom does it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no es que gente le pone maíz al, al menudo. Yeah. No. yeah. It's not menudo no more. So, for one, I know menudo. I didn't even know about menudo, but some people call it pancita. It's, it's the stomach. Yeah. Same thing. Pancita de esta. But, but <laughs> with the menudo, I think it would be with the how many. Maybe somebody yeah. can correct me, but con los uh, corn. Yeah. But I don't know if it's true. Or not. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Well, Except for it has the how many. Yeah, the how many. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the maíz. It's the oh, maíz. Just maíz. Call it? Different. I don't know. It's how many. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. El maízito. Okay. Uh, churros or flan? Uh, I'll go with flan. Okay. It's a tough question. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah, a, yeah. yeah. tough question. So, honestly, I haven't had flan in a while. So Really? Yeah. Need a re-up on that yeah, flan. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What would you get if you flan from you where, or you have uh, um, somebody, family member makes it? Um. No. I, I think I'll just go with like the store-bought one. Yeah. Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, churros. Sí. Para que churros as well, too. Uh -huh. Go with churros también. The churros all day, give me. Uh, churros all day. Okay. And uh, Valentina, Tapatio, Cholula, or Tabasco hot sauce? Valentina. 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 So. Valentina. Valentina. Cholula is trash. Tapatio is trash, too. I'm not even going to lie. Y el Tabasco, más trash. Yeah, but it's nasty. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> it, it does take, like, chemicals. But some people have a unique taste. They yeah. like the Tabasco. And then last one for the food, Conchita, brown, the white, brown ones, the white ones, the pink ones. White one, for sure. White ones. <laughs> the brown one. The brown ones. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to get on you, bro. Anything but brown. Brown is the worst flavor. <laughs> really? I'll, I'll take pink though any day. It's the chocolatito. <laughs> I don't like chocolate. Really? It tastes weird to me. Mm -hmm. It's your own taste. We have different taste buds. Yeah. Okay, this was going to be interesting. I don't know if you're into conspiracies or not. Conspiracies. Mm -hmm. But have you ever heard a conspiracy that you'd be like, man, that has to be true? Like, as in like... Anything. In anything. regards to the land. Like, moon like landing. Area 51 or what? Yeah, kind of like that. Do you think that's real? Do you think they have something in there that they don't I'm want us sure, to know? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. What would you think? It would Santo. Be? Tell them about the alien. The alien? The alien. You Which one? 3 a.m. The light in the sky. That was just probably like a shooting nah, star. Nah, bro. You know, you, know, you know what that was. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, well, what do you think, Cristo? <laughs> well, it has to be something. Okay, so, okay, tell something. me the story. So, y'all okay, were so, driving back yeah, we, from we, a gig? Yeah, we were actually outside at, at a, uh -huh. outside his house, uh -huh. like, dropping him off. He uh -huh. was the last one. We had already dropped him off. And we're, like, sitting in the truck, you know, just kind of, like, recapping yeah. about the whole, like, night or whatever. Yeah, we're just chilling. And we're just, like, you know, the front windshield, you, you see, like, in the in the sky, like, like this light just, like, cruising. Well, was so, it going like this or was it going like this? I, I was floating. For me, it was floating. It was just glowing. Well, it was, it was, it was glowing for a little while, but then it started, like, moving. But it was, like, bright. It was not just, like, a little dot. Yeah. But it, really? So. You, I mean, your mind started wondering. Could yeah, because be? we all saw it. Right? Yeah, we all saw we it. All it was, like, it. 3 in the morning. I was like, what? Nobody took your phone down to try to record it? No, I mean, we're all, you see that light? You see that light? Then, yeah, I see it. But then by the time that, you know, it kind of kind of happened. Like, it was fast. Yeah, it was fast. That was crazy. Yeah. I've seen shooting stars, but I yeah. never. I always want to say, I, I want to say that I want to see one. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see one because yeah. I don't know what I'm going to be doing if I really should see a freaking light yeah. moving around. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. What about yourself? Any conspiracies? You believe in any of that stuff? Ah. Moon landing, the JFK, uh, <clears throat> aliens. I mean, I think the aliens, you know. So you think they're real? Yeah, I think they're real, yeah. you know. What about yourself? Mm, nah, I feel like they're fake. You think they're fake? Yeah. All right. You too? Look, look, are you someone? Do you see one? 
watch, watch, give it a couple of years. Yeah. I think I think if the government knows, they wouldn't want it to tell us because we'd be acting crazy. Yeah. Imagine what happened with the act. pandemic. Yeah. Like everybody took yeah. took all the toilet paper for what? <laughs> yeah, right. All the waters too. All the, all the waters. The they had me in a panic for about a week because I only had about a roll left. Right. Like, Dang. Right. And I could go into the store and there was none still. Like, man, I started panicking. You know, like, they had one ply. He didn't want to use it. And then finally, <laughs> I went to the store and then I, I had a big pack. Took you it. Took I'm, it. I'm safe. I'm good yeah. for a little a month or so. Yeah. And that was good. Just hopped in man, the shower. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, well, no. Yeah, for real. Okay. <laughs> and Latino, when you hear the word Latino, Latino, Latina, what first comes to mind when you hear the word? There's no right or wrong answer. I just want to know <coughs> if you ever hear the word, what comes to mind first? Um, Well, you just, like, think of, like, I mean, like us, you know, you just picture someone. It's not like you're going to picture, like, another race or something. You know? mm-hmm. So you picture, like, Hispanics, Mexicans, Salvadorans, you know, everything. Anyone that speaks Spanish, basically. Got you. What about yourself? Yeah, same, same, same thing. thing yeah. Same thing. You too? For me, I think, I don't think Mexican, I think Latino, I think, like, Spain. Spain? I don't know why. Hmm? More like, uh, yeah. Again, know. there's no right or wrong answer. Do you prefer to be called Mexicano, Estadounidense, Latino? Nah, it don't matter. You don't matter nah, to you? Nah, it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter, you know. It don't matter. Same mm-hmm. thing to you. También Mexicano, lo que sea. Mexicano. Okay. So, let's start the interview. So, all you are from Dallas, Texas? <coughs> from the Dallas area? Yeah, we're all from You're Dallas. You're all born yeah. here in the Dallas area? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. And you were telling me your family. Do you know anything how your family decided to come here? Uh, yeah, y'all but, first generation, all of y'all, or second generation? Like, y- were y'all born here and your parents were born here, or y- all your parents are from Mexico? Uh, no, nah, my parents were from Mexico. Okay. Yeah, they were born over there. So your first generation. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, my family, was my mom and my dad both, they, they but, you know, they were able to come back and forth. You know, they had visas, so mm-hmm. they were able to still come and go. So, was, we were born over here. It, um. We what area you told me that uh, we're from? Uh, Nuevo Laredo. Nuevo Laredo. Uh, Saludos yeah. a Nuevo Laredo. Saludos a Nuevo Laredo. But, uh, este, yeah. Um, so we lived over there. I remember when, probably when we were kids. I was born here. Mm-hmm. I remember them telling me I was like probably like one year old. We lived here for like that one year, the first year that I was yeah. born. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, mom and dad. My mom dad. and dad. <laughs> Uh, and then they moved back to Mexico for a little while. Then yeah. they came back over here whenever I started school, like kindergarten. And from yeah. there, we've been we we've been living here since. That's cool. And that's yeah. you and your brother, too, yeah. Because your yeah. brother, y'all related. I yeah, didn't know that. yeah, yeah, yeah. For that's sure. That's pretty cool. And then you know, whenever I turned, uh, well, the legal age to fix their papers. Or yeah. I don't know how, how how what the proper way to say that is. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, I uh, yeah, I made them uh, from here. Residents. Yeah, residents. Yeah. I mean, um. It's re- it's reality for us, yeah. right? Whether you want it or not. I mean, sometimes I was I was born in Mexico, but yeah. I, when I got here, it was illegal for yeah. a long time, yeah. and then my dad had to pay a lot of money for yeah. us to make us legal. So yeah. some of the things that we have to go through, yeah. whether we want it or not, yeah, you know. Sure. So it's pretty cool that you're able to do that for your parents. Yeah. You, know, you were responsible enough to not be in trouble and, yeah. then, and then take that big step to help them out. Yeah, you know, because you know it does happen. It's part of our reality, whether yeah. we want it or not. Y tú. Where are your family from? Michoacán. Yeah, you were born here también? Yeah, first generation. Vale, yeah. Michoacán. Saludos a Michoacán también. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and then, of course, you were you born here and stay here? Did you ever live in Mexico también? Nah, I was born here. I you stay were, here. And you stay here. Yeah. You were born here. Yeah, how how different age are you? Uh, well, I'm 25. He's 17. 17. So, like, yeah. what, eight years? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Eight, eight years. Yeah, I guess that's right. Tengo que contarle. Yeah. Hey, what about yourself? Uh, Michoacán también. También. Y yeah. you were born here también? Yeah, first generation. In the generation. Dallas area? Yeah. First generation. Vale, pues, did you ever ask your parents how, how what brought them here to uh, the U.S.? What made them come? Money. The struggle. The money. You, they the have to. Yeah. No hay otra, you know. You have yeah. to. Did they try to do any, as far as, like, making it over there, growing crops? Because I know, like, people don't understand. In a rancho, it. but uh, my dad was alone. He couldn't, you know. He, he couldn't. It was a lot to handle. At 16, yeah. he came over here. Yeah, so. 16 years old. Do mm-hmm. you know how, how old were your parents when they got here? Um, uh, probably, I think my dad, give or take, but I was born, when I was born, my dad was, like, probably 18. My mom was, like, 16. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they came, and they, w- they went back few years back and then they came back again so probably when they stayed here officially i don't know i don't, I don't want to give like no no you good i mean i know i'm asking you some tough stuff it's pretty yeah. cool to know uh, you know how, how yeah. they got here and everything do you know anything about your parents journey here i mean how old were they uh they were like 20 21 yeah yeah when they had me well my mom crossed the border with me and her belly so, oh really yeah i was about to be uh born over there but my dad was like nah like we gotta go over there and stuff so they brought me over here i was like that's pretty cool seven months in 
Yeah. Um, all across the border. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, there's people that are, like they were born here, and then they their parents send them back to Mexico. They grow up in Mexico. Yeah. All they know is Mexico. Yeah. And then they want to come to the U.S. And yeah. Like, hey, I'm gonna cross illegally. I'm like, oh, here you go. Here's your papers. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, yeah, you were born over there. You just we yeah. never told you. <laughs> That's crazy. That that crazy, crazy that happens. Okay, so let's start off. How how did you get into the music? <clears throat> how did you begin? Where the inspiration? Any of your family members? Um, so well, none of my family members are musicos, mm-hmm. but uh, my dad. Um, I remember growing up, he always he had like two accordions in the closet. Oh wow! He never played accordion, but like he would uh, just like make. Uh, you, know? you know how he got the accordions? Uh, well, he people? bought them. He he always wanted to learn. Like mm-hmm. he always like had like a passion to like actually learn, but he never learned. Mm-hmm. And he just had them. He would just like play like. Whatever, you know, he wouldn't even actually do anything, but yeah. just make sound. Uh-huh. And, like, at the other part, like, at the age of 14, um, well, you know, I was just like, hey, but can I, can I, can I, you know, can I put it on, you know, to see how it feels, you know, yeah. just start messing with it. And I'm just, you know, poking at it a little bit. Never really properly learned, the, like, I would, like, pick it up here and there, but I never actually learned how to play it until maybe, like, when I was, like, 18. That's whenever I, like, put a little bit more, I guess, effort into it. Yeah. I had uh, some friends that they were musicos, and I started learning off of them, you know. Mm-hmm. And but yeah, from there I started like I guess learning a little bit more what is what, you know, in the music, how to yeah. do what, how to put it together with other people. And then, then uh, let me let me go back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. So I saved the, I saved up enough money to actually buy like a better accordion than the ones that my dad had, you know. So I bought me an accordion. And at, I, eight, oh, at 18? At 18, yeah. Mm-hmm. I bought me, like, an actual, the, you know, accordions, like, the good ones. They're, like, $5,000. Oh, dang. They're expensive. Yeah, yeah they're expensive. So, How many you know, accordions do you have? Now I have two. $10,000. Yeah, now, now, now I have two. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, thankfully, you know, with the group and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but so, you're able to invest your yeah. money on getting another accordion. Yeah, That's pretty for sure. crazy. So then the finally, how, how long were, like, so you knew that the accordions were there. You yeah. must have thought about it a few times before you actually had the courage to tell your dad, "Hey, can I play with you?" Yeah, please? I mean, I, I would just see like him just messing with it, but you know, like I, I, like it never like actually like, you know, like how do you call it? I actually for me to actually want to pick it up, you know. So or my dad never like pushed me like, "Hey, here, like learn it," you know. It just kind of came eventually by itself. Like, oh, you know, I'm curious. Like I would, I grew up listening to the music, so mm-hmm. so little by little, you know, I was just like. Uh, then I started getting curious, like around 14. That's whenever I started picking it up and messing with it. But now, after I was 18, then I stopped playing for a little while. You know, yeah. the friends that I had uh, that we were like trying to like make something work, it did. You know, we never made anything happen. We just kind of like do it for fun. Mm-hmm. And um, and I I ended up selling that five thousand dollar accordion and just kind of like set the money aside. Yeah. And kind of went about my way. Then I think probably like whenever I was like 23. Uh-huh. And I bought me another accordion, which is the one that I have now. Um, it's a red and gold one. I actually, I actually still have it. I have it with me right now. Um, but then after I was 23, then that's whenever I actually started like putting more effort. Yeah. That's when my brother he started learning how to play the bass. Nice. So then from there we were like, well, you know, we should try to do something, you know, make a little group or something, you know, just just to mess around, yeah, you know. Of course. Because then you know he started uh, learning how to play the bass, and plus I played the accordion, so. You know, that little motivation, you know, the both of us now, like, we're trying to make something. So we're, then we started, like, looking for someone to, like, help us out in the harmonia, which is, like, the guitar, bajo quinto, whatever, you know. Yeah. Just to, like, follow along with the bass. And then it was the three of us. It was another, another friend, like, another, yeah, another little friend that we mm-hmm. had. Shout out to Mike, I am that seguro. He helped us out in a few gigs, like, once we started, like, actually, like, gigging and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he helped us out in a few gigs and then, and then we figured out that was you know he played the uh, guitar because they went to high school together. Okay, and they were neighbors. And then we're neighbors. Like he lives in like like a block away. That's okay. why you call him yeah. a neighbor. You know, Cerquita, yeah. like five minutes. He's not that far. Yeah, he's the one that takes forever to get. Yeah, right? he's yeah he's the, total. yeah he's the one. <laughs> I sat on the block. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. He didn't tell he, me he, he, no, I, was, I was out fast when we went to, that day was fast. Go. Yeah, that day was fast, but most of the time we have to he's, sit outside his he house. He sends for like it on the on the block. Like I need to get ready because they're gonna put me on blast that day. No, no, no. So how did you learn? Did you look at YouTube or or was it self taught or how was it that you were starting getting the hang of it? Yeah, yeah. Whenever I first started it was uh mainly youtube i mm-hmm. uh, picked it up on youtube you know just like learning how to do like song covers and then you know little by little you start putting like puzzle pieces together and start figuring things out do you remember when the first time you played a song you're like damn i really know how to play now 
Um, I, I mean, I still don't know how to play really? now. I still don't know how to play now, but you know, no matter. I just be fooling around with it. But right you feel now. more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, now I feel comfortable now. I got to play it. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, but I guess the first song that I could say that like, oh, okay, like I feel comfortable playing this. It was probably una cumbia, yeah. una cumbia like. <laughs> Yeah, la cumbia, cumbia san yeah, 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 That was yeah. like the first one that I ever learned. The and first you song. Just felt like, Damn, yeah, I, think I, I know how to do yeah. this. Yeah, now. Se, se, the, según yo, you know, yeah. hey. según yo. You're doing it now, so yeah. yeah now, but you know, like I, I just like you know, it's way easier to, to like learn covers and stuff, yeah. whatever, make your own music. Yeah, but I, we talk about yeah, here that yeah. y'all also have original music. We're yeah, we we have a couple a originals too. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. What about yourself, Bateria, right? Yes, sir. When did you start getting into uh, learning Bateria or in the music in general? Since I was seven years old. Yeah. Yeah, my dad is the one that pushed me to it. So mm -hmm. he didn't push me, but he would take me because my fa like my uncles they're they own a band. What's so, the name of their band? Uh, se llama Grupo Tornado de Parico de Michoacán. Shout out to them, a mi tío. <laughs> but yeah, I started with them, and then like I started dancing, and then from there I hopped on percussion. <laughs> so you were a cadet? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. I was just, started, nah, I was oh, just, just a little dancer okay, right okay. there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just I started playing percussion, and then from there like the drummer had quit on them, so they're like, hey, <clears> and I was, I was like the drums, you know. So they're like, hey, just one day, like, just a normal practice, they're like, hey, hop on the drums. And from there, I just started playing. Really? Yeah. It was, I you, you, how did you start getting better at it? Just practicing? Just practicing, watch yeah. The there there will be. The, nah, just practice. No, I just know. practice? Yeah, just practice. Yeah, I never watched YouTube videos. Really? Yeah. I, so you just came to you? Yeah, just, it just came to me. That's oh, I was, crazy. And then over to this day, it's just like that. Never. Yeah, because I seen you. Was he the one on the blog? In Chicago or out there? Nah, it was another guy. It was another guy. I'm sure you'll be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. E, what about yourself? Uh, what what made you want to start the bass? Pues, I would see my brother. Como uh -huh. he would be playing las, como las carnes asadas de la familia. Yeah. <laughs> y pues. Sí. <laughs> sure. Pues, That's how you start. You got to start from humble yeah. beginnings. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Pues, me inspiró. Pues, we had a little bass. And yeah. I was normal. Lo empecé a agarrar. $25 base from eBay, right? Yeah. $25 base from eBay. Was it the black one? Y ahora, how much yeah. your base cost? Pues, $1,000. <laughs> no más. That's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Wait, yeah. And then, and then that's when you started the conversation about making something. But yeah. what made you want to grab the base? Just pues no más a mi brother tocando. And that's what inspired you to just like, you know what? Like, I want to yeah. do this too. Yeah. I want to be part of it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's nice bonding, bro. That's yeah. pretty cool. And yourself? I mean, they don't want. They don't want me in the house. Huh? I mean, I'm making out in la casa. They don't they want, me in want the you in the house. <laughs> nah, it's cause my mom always like she's a believer. Like, like you know, you know them kids. They have some tablet and se se quedan pegados en la casa. Yeah. She don't want me like that. She don't want me in the house. So she was like, pick something you want to do. And I was like, was the guitar? I mean, I saw people, I saw like videos, you know. Yeah. And so I was like, pues me metió en la escuela porque I didn't get a phone till I was in high school. So I really, I didn't really look at like YouTube and all that. So. So you just started learning by ear, or was it no, anybody I went that was to a school you? down in um down in Oak Cliff. Oh, you went to a school in Oak Cliff. Yeah, right up in there. este Valero. Uh huh. Shout out to Valero. Yeah, they know. <laughs> and so they're, they're, like, still, they're still there. And they just I used to, you took classes and you started liking it more. Yeah, I learned the basics like like uh, the scalas, like theory over there. All yeah. of that. Lo que tiene que ver lo, lo de la música y luego yeah. por lo demás en videos. Ya cuando una got into high school, I got my phone, started looking at videos and all that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And when did you all of a sudden you see him and they started wanting to get him involved in the group? Because y'all again, y'all don't live too far away. Y'all yeah. go to school together. And then when did y'all started like you already started forming a group yeah. with him? And then eventually he's the one that yeah. came in third member. Or yeah, was he's a third. Else? He's a third member. He was a third so, member. So, um, like like we said, you know, they met in school, but so he had a friend. Well, why don't you tell the story? You want to oh, tell it, or you want me to just explain it how I know it? it? All right. So he he had a friend in in high school uh -huh. that knew him, and and he used to play, was harmonia guitar with another like accordionist that went to his high school. Yeah. And they were gonna do like a little performance in the cafeteria. Nice. So they for his friend knew that he played bass in high school, and then was that guy told them like, hey, but yeah. we know some guy that plays the bass. He from there. I guess they all met up, started practicing. I see. I guess in, like in the music yeah. music class. And they they were like do like little performances in the cafeteria. 
<laughs> and then from there, but we knew we needed like someone, you know, to like hop on the on the guitar or bajo quinto. Okay. But we told him like, hey, pues, you know, come down to the house, let's practice. And he lived like five minutes away. So, so. yeah, started first, like everybody else just starts practicing together. Yeah, we started practicing together. And then when there's the discussion of the name, Los Chaparritos de la Cuadra, was okay. there other names no, originally? No. Or has always been this name? It was always okay, so it was always this name because, well, me and my brother, we, we came up with the name. Mm -hmm. because, how did okay, that so the backstory on that, um, well, my dad lives in a street, like it's, it's like, kind of like a circle. Like you, yeah, like a circle street. Yeah. Like you go in from one end to the yeah. to the other side. So you know, yeah, same spot. So we used to like just like right there outside in the, like in the in the street. Like mm -hmm. it's because the houses there they're kind of like it's like four houses. It's like one here, one here, one here. They're like they're all facing each other, yeah. and then like there's like a middle driveway. Right. So like they would like have cookouts in the middle driveway, like right there. And like so you have a whole block party. Yeah, like a whole little block party. Yeah. So like. I would come outside, you know, with a guitar and just like sing or, or like, you know, the accordion or me and my brother. That's how we started. For all the neighborhoods. Yeah, for the little neighborhoods right that's there. Cool. It was, you know, a cuadra is like, you yeah, it's a, a block. street. Yeah, it's, it's a, block, a block, you know. So, you know, we were like kind of short compared to like a lot of guys. But I mean, a lot of people contradict us. Like, hey, why, why do y'all call that? Yeah, not, I said that as yeah, soon as you walked yeah, in. I'm like, yeah, why y'all not too, y'all not sure. <laughs> y'all not sure. But, you know, there's a lot of other like musicians that are like way taller oh, than us, you know. So. Hello, quickly jumping in to let you know, I know that you know you are enjoying the show, so go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and now, back to the episode. You know, we're the shorter ones from, like, the, the bunch of, like, uh -huh. the other musicos, so, you know, we're, like, I mean, we're short, and then we're just, like, playing in the blog right there, so, over los chaparritos de la cuadra, you know, and then we started creating, like, a little logo, like, on a napkin, and in a pen, when I was still, when I still used to work. Yeah. And, um... And that's how it yeah. came to be. Yeah, then I sent it out to like some guy that does like you know digitizes logos and yeah. stuff, and then he but he he came up with like a better idea, and yeah, from there it was Los just that. Los de Chaparrito. La well, you know, me and my brother started that name. Yeah, and then he came up was I mean he's way taller than us, but you know <laughs> at that point the name. Yeah. yeah, Los Chaparritos de la de la Cuadra con una estrellita. Yeah, he's a star. <laughs> he's <laughs> a little thing. He's the eye on the dot. That's pretty cool. Though. That's uh, I was watching. I was doing. I don't know what I was doing with my. Like, like one thing was typing something. They yeah. said the shorties of the block. Shorties like, of the what? block. Yeah, <laughs> the translation yeah. was straight up. Yeah. No, no, it was YouTube. I yeah. was watching his YouTube channel, and I think I click on my laptop English mm -hmm. or Spanish, yeah. and it said the shorties of, or English, and it said shorties of the block. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, we we say that sometimes, just joking yeah, around. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. The translation. Yeah, that's the translation. <laughs> okay. Of the block. So now that y'all got the group together, it's three of y'all. Uh, yeah, used to have another battery, uh, another batteria. Yeah, the, 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 our old drummer. Other one. Shout out to Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. So he's no longer wanted to do it or he wanted um, to do something different? Okay, let, let me start off from how we met him, I guess. Okay. So going back to when I was in high school and like I was like 18 at the time where I used to hang out with like the group of musicals yeah. back in the day. So Isaac's brother, shout out to Nick. That's his brother, mm -hmm. uh, older brother's name. Este, he played the bass. Gotcha. And like in the little like group of people that I used to hang out with. So. Because I knew he had a little brother at the time. I think Isaac was probably like 14. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how I met Isaac, like through his older brother. Yeah, was like, now that we were actually trying to start a band, a group, um, well, I, I, I started looking up Isaac on Instagram. I was like, yeah, like, like we need a drummer. But like, we didn't know anyone else, you know? Yeah. So we're like, all right, well, let's, let's try to, who plays drums? I had another homeboy actually um, in high school who he's a, he's a pretty good drummer too. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but, you know, he's doing his own thing, you know, he has a family now, he's married and stuff, and, but he's not really, like, too focused in music, right, so, but he was, like, he was never available to actually, like, join a group, you know, plus he yeah. had another group at the time, Yeah. Um, but then we, I come across, like, Isaac, okay, it was Isaac, I hit him up on Instagram, like, hey, what's up, like, what are you doing, I think he was playing with another group at the time, mm -hmm. but we invited him out to practice, you know, and from there, was, we practiced a couple of times, you know, see what we could do. We started getting a little bit more gigs, and but yeah, that's how we started. We just started, you know, from the very bottom, you know, just awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's start out about the the first gig. First gig. Do you remember? I remember. Yeah, the first remember gig. the first yeah, gig. I remember okay, the first which gig. one? What was it? The first what gig with four of us. Uh -huh. The four of us. Or just in general, your first gig. Period. In general. Okay, so <laughs> my my first gig in general was from my uncle. He had a party in the salon. And it was me, my brother, and another guy, and and he was not in there yet. Mm, yeah. No, yeah, nah, but we were already Chaparritos de la Cuadra at the time. So what was it? It was just a um, bautizo or just what uh, he had? I think it was a bautizo. Uh -huh. I think it was a bautizo, if I remember correctly. You want to bautizo uh, my little cousin? Uh -huh. And, pues, you know, my uncle hired us, you know, he paid us. 
How many songs did you have at that time to play? At that, that time, you know? honestly, it was not that many because me and my brother were barely starting. Yeah. So it was probably it was just the time that the little little bit of time that we played. Probably like, well, we played like three hours. Really? With three hours. Dang. And, and so with how many songs? That's a lot of time. <laughs> well, yeah, but I guess. Repitieron muchas canciones. No, no, we didn't repeat no? them. I That's guess. Cool. Yeah, I guess it was probably like unas que like unas sixty songs maybe. Really, yes. you already knew sixty songs by your first gig. Yeah, it was I mean, yeah, if not, we were not gonna be able to no, do yeah, it. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we probably knew like about sixty songs at the time. So y'all must have been playing for practicing for a long time before yeah, you yeah, yeah. your first yeah, gig. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we had like at least tampoco not a long time, maybe like a month or two. A month or two. Yeah, but we we were like really trying to get at it, so we're like like this, like learning songs. How long were you practicing every day or every other day? Or nah, well me and him we'll practice like almost every day. Every day. After I would get off of work every day, just mm -hmm. get at it. Um, but with but with other people, we never really had other people to practice. It was just me and him. Okay, so that's why you picked it up a lot, a lot more. Yeah, yeah, because it was always just me and him. And then so. now it's a little bit easier because I don't know what way I use, but sometimes I use your phone kind of kind of sort of see the lyrics of the. Yeah, movie. yeah, I don't yeah. Know yeah. Who they are. Yeah. What is it that you use? Is it a? Uh, well, you uh, can use karaoke? your phone. No, no, no. You just go on Google and you just like look up on like Safari or Google. You uh -huh. just look up the lyrics of the whatever song you want. And then you just go. Yeah, off of it. you just put it there, you know, just in case you forget or whatever. That's crazy. Yeah. That's cool. What about yourself? You remember your first gig with them? Yeah, it was it was in Fort Worth, right? It was that ranch party. It was a crazy. <laughs> there wasn't trying. The one with the block? Nah, it was different. It was different it wasn't trying to let us go and stuff. Uh, we had another gig. <laughs> they had us amenazados. How do you say that? I mean, right. they threatened, threatened, they threatened, they threatened yeah. us. Okay, so y'all got to the gig and they wouldn't let y'all leave. Well, uh -huh. like, you know, we finished our time that that we had. How many hours was that? Uh, that was like, what, three, four? Like four. It was we four. played four hours. Oh. You didn't have a manager at the time? No, we were still with Malverde, but you know, Malverde, but he was doing his own, like he was somewhere else that, okay. that, that night. So that day you do the gig and you finish your time. You we know, finished our time. And, and, and we had another, poquitos. we had another event after. Uh -huh. So we had to leave. Like we, we couldn't stay, you know, but contracts or yeah, whatever. Yeah. We had another event after. And because, you know, the, the customers or the clients, they were already was, you know, a couple of beers in, yeah. a couple of shots in. Yeah. Everybody was lit. Like the party was yeah. going actually like really good. Everybody yeah. dancing. Like they were really hyped. And. When it came time to actually like go, you know, we're like picking up the client is like, nah, don't go. Like they started off nice, nah, don't go. Like we'll pay you extra, this and that. Like it's cause it's not it's not about the money really. It's more like about our word, you know. Yeah, you we, you had another yeah gig we had another and a event. contract yeah. with somebody else. And we we couldn't yeah we couldn't like we didn't we don't want to burn our name either, you know, yeah. cause you don't show up or something and people start burning you on social on media. Social media, yeah. So yeah, I mean, you want to keep on going with that, or you want to? Nah, uh, dale, dale. You got it. All uh, right, so yeah, the, the the customer the client he was like. <laughs> He, they started off nice, like, hey, we'll pay you more, stay. Like, nah, yeah, we really can't, you know, it's just was our word with the client, with the yeah. next client. You know, we can't, we can't, you know, it's no, we, yeah. no le podemos quedar mal. How do you say Simon. that? Yeah, yeah, I just can't let them down. Cause, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You have a contract, you have not only your word, but you have a contract that you're going to be over there and you. So you cannot just sh not show up. Yeah, you can't just not show yeah, up. Yeah, because that's like not being professional for yeah, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, not professional. You know? Well, with any job, you with know, any you, job. If you, you, you already have a contract there. Yeah. You put your word, you know, they're expecting you yeah, to be You there. can't let them down because they're already expecting you. They already yeah, pay you yeah. some money, whether it will be a down payment. Yeah, 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 the so, deposit. Yeah, the deposit. So, yeah, so we, uh, we were there kind of like going back and forth. Like, we got to go, we got to go. So we started picking things up. The client is just like, put everything down. Y'all not going to leave this and that. I like, you know, we don't care. Like, they started cussing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm we, pretty sure they have a, <clears throat> it's a rancho. So I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a rancho. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they have weapons. You never know. You yeah. know? You just never know. So. Y luego, how did, how did you just like. Um, it was after going back and forth. I think we ended up playing an extra hour for them. Todavía? Just, yeah. We did actually play the extra hour because, you know, at that, that point, was they were like really, like, really like oh, going yeah, off. Yeah. So we played the next hour, and then after that, they still wanted us to keep going. Then after that was, we just started picking up. They were like, basically, as we were like taking things out, they were just like, ah, you know, screw y'all, fuck y'all. You know, I don't yeah. know if you want to blur those yeah. words. Yeah. But, like, you know, they're basically cu cussing at us in cussing Spanish. Cussing at us. I mean, it's understandable. We're already drunk and everything, and y'all are in their private property. Yeah. So it's kind of hard for you just to get up and, and go. Yeah. But how, what steps are y'all taking now to make sure that doesn't happen in well, the future? Because I mean, it can get really bad. Like, yeah, you know, you I want to make sure that y'all can stay playing. So, uh -huh. like in the future? Yeah, in the future for y'all. So that to prepare happen, better. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you really can't. Like really? when whenever you're playing like private parties, well, you you just don't know what to expect. Sometimes yeah. like the customers could be either really nice, 
you don't know what they do for a living. Are y'all more selective now to taking private gigs? Because y'all know that's kind of not too much yeah. of a risk, but you know it could be more of a hassle depending on yeah. the, on the, yeah. the guest. I'm yeah. sorry, depending on whoever hosting the party. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, we we can always be more selective for sure. Like yeah. now, like getting private events and or yeah. public events, you know. But it's just typically on Saturdays. But pretty sure I can speak for like all the local musicians mm -hmm. here. Um, everybody usually likes to get like private events on Saturdays, mainly on Saturdays because everybody like, you know, is where more money comes in because yeah. you play several hours, Yeah, you know? So, yeah, I mean. That's crazy that happened. I'm glad y'all got to leave that place. Yeah. But how do you feel knowing that like that happened on your first event? I was just like, shit, you know, like, <laughs> como, you know, like <laughs> my first gig and then this happens, you know? After yeah. that, but not everything. I mean, at the end of the day, everything was cool, you know. They after let that, us go. He, they had to let us he go. He didn't talk to us for a month. He was scared. Oh, nah, so he didn't. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he took a break. Like, yeah, he took a break. He was like, nah. Like, trying to call him, he won't answer. He was like, nah. Message on red. I'm like, what the hell is going Locked. on? Yeah. Are you going to practice today? <laughs> no. No, it's because by then, like, he was not official with us yet. He, uh, just, he was just helping us for the night because yeah. it was whenever the old drummer was, we, we split up. Gotcha. So we were just, like, kind of, like, getting help for, like, two, three months. Yeah. Or, like, he was one of the ones that helped us out for that night. Yeah. How do you, what do you remember about the first gig? Do you remember? Well, yeah, well, the same thing. The same said. one. But what, what were you feeling like at that time? Oh, I was nervous because yeah. it was my first time ever playing. Yeah. Like, in the stage and stuff. Were the people? Yeah. Even though it was your family, though, we're still yeah. nervous, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's your family, but it's still like, you know, it still gives you like the little nervousness because, because I mean, it's your first time performing in front of like an actual crowd, you know? And what was the feeling like whenever y'all got to finish the gig? How, how do you feel for y'all to be able to do at least one gig out the way? Leave like, yeah, it's like a satisfaction that you get, you know, like, oh, you know, hell yes, you know. Y que les dijo el tío? Les dio una propina? Give you a no, it was, you know, he just paid us what, what it was, you know, what we what we agreed on. After that, I think that night we ended up going back to his place and keep going a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Está bien? We'll go back I'm to good. you in a second. Oh, boy, <laughs> hey, what about your yourself? When was your first gig? Was it the same gig with them? Nah, my first gig was New Year's, no? Oh yeah, it was New Year's. It was like around that time. Este, at that time it was just us three. I had a little six string, six string guitar. Uh -huh. He had the red accordion. Yeah, he had a bass. It was prestado. Mm, nah, it was the one I had now. No, it wasn't. Yeah, era prestado. It was the orange one. Anyways, oh, yeah. Anyways, este, <laughs> <laughs> we played. It was. I mean, we had the system we have now. I mean, I felt like we were pretty good, even though yeah. we were just starting off. Yeah. You know, so the system. How many speakers do you have going starting off whenever y'all started? Like, was mm. only... In the beginning? In the beginning. Oh, in the beginning, I mean, we had just, like, two highs, which yeah. is, like, just, like, two speakers pointing out. Yeah. And eventually, we ended up buying a subwoofer and then monitors to, so we could hear ourselves, you know? But time, you know, with time. Yeah. It's it's nice to know that y'all reinvesting on yeah, some yeah. of the gigs to... Yeah, you got to reinvest. better your yeah, equipment, have more speakers. Yeah. And then now, yeah, you'll be able to go anywhere. Yeah, you can go anywhere. I mean, it's cool whenever you go into a club and you can do sound check and they have all the yeah, freaking they, they speakers. Yeah. But it's easier whenever you're doing private gigs, which it is. Private gigs do play a whole lot more. Yeah. A little bit, some of them could be more riskier. Yeah. But you have your own equipment and you get more money out of yeah. it. Especially yeah, more comfortable like too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so how do y'all, as far as Malverde, they wanted to come around. Shout out to him. First of all, I know him for a little while. And uh, how, when did y'all meet? When did y'all meet him? So Malverde, Malverde Productions. Malverde Productions. Shout out to Malverde. Este Malverde, we met him when we officially started the group. Mm -hmm. Like whenever I created the Instagram mm -hmm. for like a group, mm -hmm. um, where we started like posting like little clips of us like playing. That was when Isaac uh, helped us out for the first gig, like with drummer and everything. Malverde hit me up. He was like, hey, like, well, you know, like, what's up? Like, how's it going? You know, I'm interested. You know. And working with y'all guys, you know, if y'all want to come down, we're, we're shooting some videos for another group. If y'all want to come down, you know, just to hang out and kind of see how it is. We're like, yeah, you know, why not? Let's let's go out. So me and my brother went out there. At that point, he was working at Golden Chick. So he, he couldn't make it Golden out. Golden Chick. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Gotta make some bread somehow. Y'all like chicken, working on the chicken yeah. industry. Yeah. <laughs> no shout outs, but. No yeah. shout outs, but yeah, we, I mean. You yeah. worked in the chicken industry too? No? Nah, nah, nah. No. You too? Hey. Nah. You never work, right? Nah, well, except with musicians. That's yeah. pretty dope, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Y luego? So uh, yeah, I went to see how yeah, everything was we going. We went on. to go. We pulled up, and you know, we met him. Like, what's up, bro? You know, and I get to know. Was that there that day? Huh? Was that there on that day? Who was it that was y'all yeah, recording? Uh, they were recording. This was like a year and a half ago. Uh huh. Uh, I think they, I was there. they were recording uh, Los del Barrio. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, with uh, Pulpo and Pulpo Ranch. I got you. 
yeah and but we just pulled up you know we're just like oh why not you know let's go and then after that was we had a little gig after that we did like in the beginning right when we, when it was like us four like officially like with a drummer we did a lot of promotional gigs like where we didn't get paid you know just to put our name out there and, yeah you know? so we could also lose a fear too because you know when you're first starting like with no musical background or nothing was you know you have stage fright and everything so yeah. you got to lose the fear you know loosen up a little bit but yeah we did a lot of promotional gigs in the beginning too yeah. and a lot of places that also scammed us i'm not going to mention any names they they <laughs> promised to pay us that they didn't pay us i'm not going to mention any names but. A few, i a mean few, few. yeah just let's not call them out but that's messed up bro yeah. because it's cool that you know you're already going into a gig with yeah. an understanding that, first of all, a lot of y'all don't understand how much work they have to put on yeah. in to go do a gig. And then it's cool that y'all took some promotion to <coughs> gigs and y'all know y'all want to get yeah. paid. Yeah. But it's messed up whenever you the agreement is said that y'all were going to get paid yeah. and they didn't pay y'all yeah. for all the work y'all do. Yeah. It's cool whenever you're building your name or whatever. And, and yeah, how, yeah. how many gigs do you think you did? It was like for the lo- for like free, for nothing. For, for free. free. Uh, like... Like around ten, I would say like around yeah. a good ten gigs, right? Yeah, around there. And it's kind of yeah. it's, it's kind of messed up because a lot of people think like all oh, their musicals they have it easy, you know what I mean? Yeah, they have it good. easy, but they don't no, know like they don't where know. you gotta go. You know, we we gotta get ready like hours before a show. You know, yeah. make sure that all our equipment is ready to go. Run through y'all's day on a gig day. On a gig Hi, uh, day, where, let, okay. let's say yeah, <laughs> let's just say let's no, just no, say for tomorrow a whole weekend. Let's okay. say a whole weekend, starting off Friday. How does it start? Okay, well today. Today we're here. Uh, no, today we're here. Today's Friday, so earlier today was. I usually sleep in a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm lazy. <laughs> but you know, I go to the gym. I wake up like around one or two. We can tell. Yeah, you be, putting, I, you be pumping some iron, yeah, bro. I, I hit the gym like around one or two. Um, then after that, I get home, eat something, whatever, fast food, or if my mom made something, or but if not, I'll cook myself. You know, I'm, I, I'm a chef myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chef no. Cruzinos. Yeah, <laughs> Chef Kruzinski. <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, I get to eating, then probably like lay down for a little bit, take a, take another nap, you know, so I could be ready for yeah. the night or whatever. Then if it's a public gig, like tonight, for example, uh, we try to get there like an hour early or like 30 minutes before. So, so we even kinda, before then, you have to get a haircut and everything Yeah, fresh. we, we got to go. Oh, yeah, like today, I usually get my haircuts on Friday, so. Throughout that time after the gym or before, I got to go get my hair cut, you know. Mm-hmm. And we get to the gig like an hour, 30 minutes early. Yeah. You know, just set up everything, make sure everything's ready to roll. And you know, we do our gig, one hour set or whatever. And sometimes an hour, sometimes two hours, depending on the client. We do our gig. Then after that, we head out, maybe like a pit stop at Whataburger or something. Quick trip. Nunca falta. Yeah, you, Never goes wrong. In Cocon. Yeah. Then after that, you get home probably like around 3 a.m. most of the time. Even if the gig is like tonight, like uh, yeah. 11, 10, whatever, you always end up getting home like 1 or later. So yeah. like 1, 2, 3 a.m. And then you got a shower. You got to, you know, lay down in bed before you go to sleep. So you probably end up going to sleep like 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah. Whether then, you want it or not. What about the plane itself? Even though... People might see it as being easy. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how to sing well. I don't know how to play any of this stuff. But you have to be carrying the damn <coughs> equipment. Yeah, yeah, Put yeah. Putting it all up, playing yeah. for an hour or two. Yeah. And then that's strenuous to the body, whether you want it or not. You have to have some conditioning. Yeah. You order. sweat. You sweat yeah. a lot. I'll tell you that. Like yeah. you, you, Especially now that like we're in summer over here in, in Texas. Yeah. You sweat a lot. If, even if it's indoors, sometimes, you know, you sweat. Cause, I mean, especially me. I mean, like, well, for all of us, actually. But, you know, some musicals do their show some some they just stand there and play the music but me like I, I try to like walk around move the accordion a lot you know just to like put on a little bit better show for the people yeah. you know i like i like you know feeling the energy you know i like people feeling my energy too you know so yeah. so y'all done well for yourselves on tiktok yeah yeah TikTok, tiktok helped us out a lot yes. man it's been popping uh, yeah. i think one of them is even what a few million yeah probably close to a million yeah. uh, probably already hit a million on man, there that's why that's yeah. wow thankfully Thankfully, That's you cool. know. And what is the more critic? There's a bunch of people that just criticize just because. Yeah, like, so a lot it? of people criticize, but I mean, you gotta know how to take the criticism though, yeah. because like, like if you if you go to any video that could be like a professional artist, like you know someone yeah. that's really known, or like a, a music on the very bottom, you know, in in the in the famous people, like yeah. the ones that are at the very top, you're gonna go and and see bad comments no yeah. matter what, like, so you know you just gotta like okay just ignore them, you know. Yeah. 
I mean, it's getting numbers for a reason. Yeah. Only you know what you're doing. Was doing yeah. Good. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and I'm not going to lie, you know, going back to where we first started, like, you know, we were trash. Like, I'm not going to lie. We were trash to whoever sees this, you know. Although the music, we had a lot of haters, too. A lot of people like, ah, oh, they just they just blew up off of TikTok and they think that they're the biggest thing. But we never actually thought we were, like, big, you know. Yeah. We just, we were just riding the wave, you know, Enjoying just like it, you know? just like anyone else would do, you know, just ride the wave. Yeah. And just all you could really do is just practice and get better, you know, whether people talk trash about you or not, you know. Yeah, because they're not the ones that put in the hours. Yeah. They're putting in the free gigs that you yeah. did. And then you guys keep showing up, yeah. you know, getting over the fear. Yeah. And then getting to the point where now you are able to, like, want to put a show for yeah. people. And they're entertained and they're dancing. They get yeah. involved. But, right? I mean, not even that. Like, even, like, a lot of other musicals, like, talk trash on us. Like, really? when we first started, yeah. Like, a lot of local bands. I mean, I don't want to mention any names. But they would say the same thing. Just, yeah, I just blew off of TikTok. And yeah, like, big yeah. Stuff. Yeah, they, they, yeah, blew off of TikTok, you know. And, like, they would see us and they were laughing in our faces and things like that. I mean, I'm not saying we're cold now, but you know, we 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 stand our ground, I believe, so yeah. pretty well. Yeah, I believe. We yeah, I mean, up. y'all done quite a bit of work. Y'all opened up for a bunch of people. Not only <laughs> opened up, but y'all headlined your own own yeah. night at the times. Yeah. So how does that feel? I know. So tell me your favorite gig that or the the time where your favorite for you, you when you opened up, you were the main event. Okay. And then also the time whenever you opened up for somebody else. I have I seen Arle Perez, Los Cuervos del Barranco, Paul Urias, and that's just to name a few. There's a bunch of them. <coughs> yeah. So what is your favorite gig so far that you um, had opened up for whoever it was? Okay, so for opening up for for a big big event. I think it was when we played with uh Marca Registrada mm-hmm. in Rodeo West Dallas. Yeah. That was like probably like, I mean for me it was like one of our like. I don't want to say like performance wise it was the best, but like you know the the feeling because it was like a complete sold out. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of faces and you know people at the time that kind of already like distinguish who we were. So when we like play like a certain song, like you could hear the roar of people. It's not just like two three people, just like yeah, you know, you, you hear a roar. You know. How do you feel? Uh, it's, it's a different. Yeah. It's a di- it's a different uh, feeling. When Whenever you're taking it in and you're doing and you see the people like that. Yeah, you do just. You, I mean, do you at a moment you think about it or later on? No, you think you... about it in the moment. Like you get like chills, you know, yeah. and. You, you just kind of like soak it all in. That's dope. Yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. What about yourself? What was the best, love, your favorite like person that you opened up so far for? With these guys? Yeah. Uh, I think with Edgardo. Oh, Edgardo yeah. Nunez. That was Edgardo, a, that that was a, pretty, that was a pretty good experience. Good. I saw that blog too. Yeah, yeah that was that was a really lit. nice experience. Yeah, because yeah, I even let him borrow your Tololoche. Tololoche, yeah. Yeah, he hit us up. He invited me on stage that, that night. Yeah, that yeah, night. He, he invited me on stage. That was really bad as experience. Yeah. You know, really humble. Yeah, for really sure. Nice. Yeah, I seen the blog. However, you know, he was just yeah, talkative, was, yeah. just talking like he knew ya and like, have you been here before? You yeah. know, not being like a like a bud or like yeah, people yeah. think about celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. For sure, not. Yeah. He was just like talking like we're just like homeboys and stuff. Yeah. What about yourself? What's your favorite one so far? <laughs> well, the same thing that my brother said, el de Marca Registrada. Yeah. Yeah, tu ya. También yeah. Marca. It's because you it's, you gotta understand like all the lights flashing and everything. It's like yeah. I don't know. It's something you don't imagine. The you whole freaking yeah. venue. Yeah, because it, it was like sold out. Like it was, know, it was, it was two bad. floors. Like, it everything was, was like sold out. Like That's crazy. full of people. You know, thousands of people were that. that day. I mean, I, I don't know how many people actually fit in there, but maybe yeah. like two, three thousand. VIP to the back. It yeah, was, everything was second sold out. floor. Everything like, all sold the way out. to the end of the mm-hmm. like the. the and place. how long was that one ago? Uh, that one was last year. But what one was it? Last year around. I don't remember. Maybe like, like October. October. I, October. I think it was yeah. like October, in October. And that how many times have ever headlined your own show? And how did it feel whenever they wanted you to be the ones, the headliner that day? Atlanta, bro. Atlanta and Chicago. They, yeah. I mean, they they called us up. We we drove out there. You know, we gotta actually budget everything. You know, because I mean, twenty something hours, no, to get to Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Uh, we did like fourteen. 18? Well, yeah. we did like fourteen. Damn, you were going fast. No, it's because, wait, how many was it? No, we did like 17. Yeah. 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 17, yeah, 18. 17. 14, you know, like, oh, stop. Too fast. No, 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 like stopping, oh, yeah. stopping and everything. Yeah. It takes 15, yeah. 20 minutes to yeah. stop and yeah. get gas yeah. and stretch out. And these guys like to poop a lot. So, <laughs> nah. but, but, <laughs> so, so y'all were actually hired to headline in Chicago. Yeah, in Chicago. A few shows, not only yeah, one, right? Yeah, we did, we did a few shows yeah. out there. So who, who, how did that happen? How did that, that um, was, happen? I think going back to like TikTok for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, like, you know, because our videos were blowing up and whatever. We we're making like a little bit of noise, I guess. Yeah. I guess a promoter from out there from Chicago. Um, They they got in contact with me. They they sent me like a few messages on Instagram. And I, I was like, at first I was like looking at it. I couldn't believe it, you know, like, nah, this guy's probably trying, trying to scam, scam you. Yeah, he's trying to scam us because it sounded like too good to be true, you know. 
Yeah. And then like was he was like, you waiting for him to ask you, uh, yeah, just pay me a hundred dollars and yeah, come yeah. out. No, I mean, like he, he asked for my thing. number. <laughs> I talked to him and he was like, oh, but, like you know, I offer you this much to come out here and like, you know, like, I mean, like a big, big amount of money. So I was like, that sounds kind of sketchy. You know, I mm -hmm. talked to Malverde about it. Mm -hmm. I was like, what do you think? You know, it sounds a little iffy because it sounds like you know, a good, good, good chunk of change. You know? Yeah. It was a guy who was like, you know, like I, I could transfer you the money. You know, we could talk numbers to get the contract going and everything and was i mean we're just going with the flow at the moment you know we're, we're still like 50 50 on it because was it a venue or was it a privada no it was a venue it was mm -hmm. four four venues that we're gonna do nice yeah um and yeah um me and Valverde talk back and forth you know because we kind of work together a lot on mm -hmm. like our gigs so we we're like all right well you know might as well just send them a contract out there and let's see if he act if the guy's actually real he's trying to scam us you know mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the guy was not asking us for, like, any, like, personal information or things like that, you know, like, out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'll just transfer you the deposit, you know, after we cover the contract and everything. So, like, two, three weeks passed and, like, nothing, nothing. We didn't hear back from the guy. So, we're like, man, you know what? He was probably just a scammer. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he got in contact back with us. And he was like, all right, everything said with the contract. He sent it back to us. And then he sent the deposit, which was, like, half of the total amount. Damn. So, we're like, okay, I guess it's a done deal. Yeah, and we went out there. We drove out there to Chicago, and it was kind of like a mess over there. Like, I mean, like, for a first experience, you know, we didn't really know how to, yeah, like, go about it. Like, because, you know, we booked, like, several hotels, and we're, like, jumping from hotel to hotel because it was, like, different areas, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, I remember that on the on the, on the the blog. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we had to be on this hotel, but we had to check out and be on this yeah, hotel. Yeah, like, it, it's good. Yeah, because, like, all the venues were, like, different, and, but, you know, you, you get, like, you know, the customers, they give you drinks and stuff. Yeah. When you're on stage, sometimes people don't know, like, how to take a no for an answer, you know. So, yeah. like, that's why we could have just stayed in one hotel, but, we, like, more for the sake of, like, how we were going to get from the from the event to back to the hotel. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get, like, the nearest hotel to yeah. to the event Dang. For, so that, for each show. So four shows. We have four shows. Paid. Yeah. To go travel over there. Yeah. And when y'all driving over there, how's it feel that y'all actually got paid to be traveling to go play? Um, it's like a cool little experience, you know. Yeah. We were on the road, I and mean, we were just like, you know, just going with the wave. Actually, you know. he, well, he laughing really hard. Why are you laughing? I'm so laughing because of Chinatown. Oh, oh Chinatown is from the vlog. If, if if you want to figure out what we're laughing about, go check out the vlog. Yeah, go yeah. check out their vlog on their channel. Make sure yeah. you go subscribe to their channel as well. Los Chaparitos de la Cuadra, Chicago the block. block. Yeah, Chicago the block. block. That's pretty cool. It Atlanta, same thing. Atlanta, same thing. Yeah, a promoter from out there. But that was just one event. But yeah, it was still like, you know, we, we felt more confident in that one because the guy was, it was like a, someone legit, you know, someone yeah. that already had like a name for himself out mm -hmm. there. So he hosted, he, he showed us yeah, around too. Yeah, yeah. He he called us out there, Was you know, we got the contract going, sent us a deposit, boom, we went out there whenever the time came. And yeah, you know, he showed us around, the promoter was pretty cool, you know, he even took us to back to his place and, That's you know, dope. yeah, like we kind of hanged out there for a little while. We, we drank it up at his place, you know, pretty cool guy. Awesome. Shout out to Irvin from Atlanta mm -hmm. too. Shout out. Yeah, we might be going back. He he he, he wants what? us like coming right. up in these next uh next month. So we Atlanta, might... be on the lookout. Yeah. Los Chaparritos de la Cuadra, mm -hmm. maybe possibly in the near future. Yeah. Almost done. Yeah. Okay. He has the, so after y'all do that here locally, y'all been headliners too, también, right? In, yeah. in different venues here that you have. <clears throat> yeah. But how do you feel whenever y'all get to do those here? Here, well, I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, because people now like. Here locally, was a lot of, like the same. You see a lot of the same faces. Mm -hmm. A lot of people already like distinguish who we are. You know, oh, Chaparritos yeah. are playing here. Let's go. You know, that's cool. So yeah, people follow us around and like you know when you get off the stage, people are like, can we take a picture with y'all? You know, we we like how you play or you know you yeah. you always get like the like people like trying to get a picture. That's always a cool experience as yeah. well. How does it feel if we had to get pictures with people that people want to take pictures with y'all? It has to be. It has to be feel. I mean, of course, it feels good, right? Yeah, yeah. But is it not like awkward thing to be like, why do they want to take pictures? With? <laughs> sometimes, you know I mean? sometimes. You know, I'm still not used to it all the way. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, I don't feel like I'm gonna get used to it because, like you said, I mean, I don't feel like people look at us big, but I don't feel like we're big. Yeah, you know? I just feel normal. Yeah, we just feel like normal. You know, people like, but they they admire you, like, oh, you're chaparritos, you know, yeah. like, like I want to take a picture with them, but we just feel like we're just like any ordinary people. That's yeah. Crazy. Now, y'all got numbers. Y'all yeah. doing well for yourself. Do yeah. numbers. And, of course, y'all making money off what y'all doing. Yeah. Of course, that means that if you're not seeing yourself, that means that you can go even higher, bigger. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty dope that y'all stay humble. Yeah. And, and y'all keep working. And y'all didn't let uh, the other groups, which is a lot of them, get discouraged because <laughs> they were, you know, they didn't see y'all yeah. a certain way. Yeah. 
And then we're not now all yeah united like that all the grupos and it's crazy that it happens because y'all doing the same thing. Yeah. But mm-hmm. there's plenty of money for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. And so you have two projects out, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or um, you have one project so for, far. Uh for what like as, as far as projects y'all put out on music. On, on music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, musical projects, yes. Okay, well we're actually right now we're like cooking up like a little album mm. that we want to release uh, when we hit ten K. On, 10k on instagram on instagram yeah on instagram so when you hit 10k go follow them we got on. like fi- we need like 50 followers okay like. there you go go yeah. follow them go follow them whenever this comes out when yeah. i start tagging yeah, yeah i get this 50 All right. and whenever you get those 10k on social media on ig yeah. then you're gonna release a whole album. yeah we, yeah we're gonna we're gonna have is it already ready to go uh, we're still working on it, but basically it's almost ready. Yeah, it's almost ready. Do you have the name yet for it? You, can you share the name yet? Or what do you think? Now nah, we don't have a name. Yeah, for we, it. Have, we haven't no, thought no, about no, the name. Now nah, nah, we don't have a name yet. So but. tell me about the first project that you released. It did okay. well on so, social media. On, yeah. on YouTube, I was watching the numbers. It did really well for you. Oh, uh, you talking about the the inedita, the one that's our song? Is that what it's called? Because I couldn't tell the the name on the actual project. Okay. Como se llamaba? Okay, so we. It we, one was has a pizza on it and your name. Oh, okay, oh, that's, that, the that's, the, that's the that's the other album. That's the first album. That that's the did. first one. Como yeah. se llama ese? That one. Uh, Como se llama? Chaparritos Volume One. Volume yeah. One. That's yeah, what yeah, I saw. It was just like Volume, volume one. one. It was right? just some some basic ass name. Okay. Y el otro era pisteando. Pisteando con chaparritos. Well, that that, one, that was just like that was just like crap. Like we just like messing around one day in the backyard in the one day. Yeah, just, just in the backyard. Put it in there. Yeah, yeah. We, we recorded that with an like electric drum set, and we're just like, oh, just messing around. We're like, yeah. we just did, we, we just did that one as a joke. And then this one for the 10K is professionally done in the studio. Yeah, that one that we're one? in the studio. Shout yeah. out to my compa Anthony yeah. AV Studios. Yeah. Check him out in Dallas. He's pretty good. So pretty yeah, dope. how close is it for you to finish those? Because that, that one, the, the 50 followers, they're gonna come fairly quick. Nah, right? but we got another session here uh, next week on Tuesday, yeah. and we should probably be done with it then. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the platforms, it'll be out on every Yeah, it'll platform. be on the platforms. I would say maybe like we give it like a month tops. Okay, month yeah. tops. All right, that's awesome. All right, so if y'all want to y'all wanna play something for us real quickly here in a few minutes? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, we'll so we're going to take a quick break so they can go ahead and play something for us. There's a couple of songs um, because they have to go. So we'll be right back. Ahí te va, mendiga. Ahí se... Ah, sí, viejo. No me importa nada que tenga que ver contigo Si sí, fuiste importante pero todo lo has perdido Chiquitita dice Gracias a Dios que te quitó de mi camino Si verás esto muy tranquilo Adiós y muchas gracias por el tiempo que perdimos No fue un gusto el haberte conocido, fue un error De lo que duele es de lo que se aprende Y ve, lárgate ya, vete a pistear con tus amigos Y tus amigas que son del mismo estilito, pregúntales A todos los que se las zanco Pues todas las mujeres de tu tipo se usan como diversión Ahí está un pedacito de esa nomás Mujeres de tu tipo se llama, vamos a echar la otra Dale esa si quieres nomás, es bacana Vamos a echar esta, se llama No quiero perderte chiquitita y se hace ya todo Sé que estás con tus amigas Mami eres tú mi medicina No me dejes No quiero perderte Nunca he sido un santo Estaba en el antro Y tus amigas me miraron Con una güerita Dicen que estaba bailando No les hagas caso Hoy quiero tomar a tu lado, que nos emborrachemos y hagamos el amor, y tu celular, ponlo en modo avión, y 
Quiero que me bailes escuchando reggaetón Que nadie nos moleste Chiclosa Mojaremos el colchón Dice Thank you very much for playing. Appreciate you very much. I, I seen y'all live. I mean, I, see, I didn't have it. I seen y'all live, actually. Yeah. And, and yeah, one of the events. Gosa, yeah. And then I seen y'all on all social media. So now yeah. definitely, y'all yeah, know that y'all put a show. So yeah. thank you for doing that. I'm pretending, by the way, we're recording this. I'm not going to be. I can't lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me once again, all your social media. Where can they follow y'all? Okay, so uh, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. TikTok, Los Chaparritos de la Cuadra. Los Chaparritos yeah. de la Cuadra. We're going to put it in the description. Yeah. Almost everything, OnlyFans. OnlyFans, too. Yeah, yeah. I want to check this out. Do you have an OnlyFans for real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do like private <laughs> shows there. But. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wink, there's wink. a lot of, uh, I'm not going to say, but go check out the blog so you can know there's yeah. a lot of, of that going on. Shout outs. <laughs> Any shout outs that you have going on? Shout outs, plus, you know, Anthony from AV Studios, you know, he's the one behind the behind all the recordings. So shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to Malverde. For sure. Shout out to you guys, you know, for inviting us out on your show. Um, and, you know, just all the supporters on TikTok, Instagram, everyone who follows us, you know, from day one or if you're new as yeah. well, you know, appreciate it for following us. Mom and dad, bro. Don't yeah, don't from mom and dad, you know, everyone. No, shout out to my dad, my mom, everyone, you know. That's what How do they feel about you doing this? Nah, they're proud. They're yeah. proud for sure. Yeah. What about yourself? Shout outs? Uh, sheesh. Uh, shout out to, you know, to my mom, to my pops, you know, my brother, um, I think that's about it. <laughs> and, you know, appreciate you for having us here Absolutely. tonight. You know, appreciate, appreciate you. Well, que dijo mi brother. <laughs> <laughs> that You're not going to copy. Everything. What do you feel Everything in your heart brother. that you want to cool. say? Of anybody that's been seeing you, watching them, and it'd be like, it's kind of weird Shout out to El de los Lentes on and TikTok. El de los Lentes on TikTok. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. So your head. That's him, man. Y tú? Shout out. Mom and Pops and my brothers, you know. They've all been there since day one. They've been... They've been encouraging me, you know. Okay. Appreciate y'all. And what is the lesson? I know you've been doing it for a little while now, <clears throat> but what is the lesson? Now you're a lot older than you were when you started, but what yeah. is the lesson that you learned that you would tell your younger self that will help somebody else right now? You got to stay disciplined, for you gotta sure. You got to stay disciplined. Yeah. Wake up, you know, plan everything ahead, you know, ahead of time. Make sure. Because, you know, it's not just showing up to the gig. You know, you got to prepare yourself. You got to have like a proper like plan you know like book everything in advance you know you just can't show up one day like oh, what what i have today you know mm -hmm. you got to plan ahead the night before or like a week before you know for what's coming for the weekend so just stay disciplined you know plan everything and yeah just don't fall so off do you have kind of sort of an idea of what you're going to be playing throughout the night whenever you get ready or? yeah yeah for yeah. sure yeah we we have a like a set plan in case the the like people there in the crowd they yeah. want like a certain song with them we just do that, and then we just keep on. And I noticed that whenever people ask, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know pretty much cater to the people? Yeah, we got to cater. They want a wapango, they want a cumbia, yeah, they, they want whatever. Dance, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got to cater for sure. That's bad. That's bad. Ass. At the end of the day, people are the ones that you know they they get you out there. Yeah. yeah, they're the ones that pay for the money and they mm -hmm. follow you, and you know I, yeah. I believe y'all have fans. I really do believe y'all yeah. have fans. You can't yeah. say you not have. Fans. I don't. I don't like that word so much, but I don't. I feel like people really do support y'all. Yeah, whatever it is that y'all add, y'all yeah, they want to be there. There's got to be a couple people, you know. That's bad. Ass. That yeah. follow us. Okay, so this was a more real, real life stuff, but I feel it's still a pretty good question. So whenever I wake up, I say I'm not immortal, I am mortal, and I will die one day. And that's not as to scare me, it's to realize that, you know, we're not here for a long time. Mm -hmm. I wish you a long, prosperous life. I, I wish all the success in the world. However, when everything's said and done, um, what do you pe want people to hope uh, or to say or to think about your life at the end? About me? Ah, that's a good one. I never really thought about that, but I mean, I just want people to remember me as like, you know, the guy who just, like, put everything on the stage, you know. Oh, you just talking about music or you just talking about in general? In general, oh, in general. Whatever, whatever you want. Oh, whatever, nah, music but, or person okay, or whatever you okay. would like. Nah, but I just want people to remember me as me, you know. Like, I've always been the way that I am. I, I don't pretend to be someone that I'm not, you know. Uh, that's outside of the stage, you know. I, I'm just always myself. When you see me in public, you know, on the stage or, you know, or not on stage, I'm always just myself, you know, just same humble guy just when if i'm on stage i'm not like oh i'm better than you just because i'm on stage you know <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm just myself that's, that's it up. what about yourself 
I see, you know, when they say compa cruz, you know, I mean, stay, you know, like, that I'm humble, you know. I try to be humble, you know, because sometimes, you know, like, a veces see, like, te como que te quedas al parrio, but you gotta, you know, gotta know how to keep your feet in the ground, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was, you know, that. I've, I've always loved it, doing this stuff, you know, since I was a young kid, you know? That's what up. And then you're, you're doing it now. That's yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. it. You're doing it. What about yourself? You're a little younger. It might hit, hit you different, but whatever you would like brother. to share. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It'll come to you. You know, it's pretty good that you're doing. It's pretty cool. I mean, I know you're a lot younger, but it's good that, uh, yeah, it's good that you're doing what you're doing, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm proud of you. I really am. Because not only y'all, but I've seen a bunch of people do different things, groups that, yeah. and I know it's hard work. I know Damn, it is. Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, well, when I can, you know, I know I'm not always like, the like the most punctual person, but I I want to be known as like dependable, you know, like si copan algo pues ahí estamos, you know what I mean? Humble. I don't feel like I I show up. If I do, it's like as a joke. I, yeah. Most of the time, people don't know I'm joking, but like I do joke a lot. You do have it. What you know what dry humor is? Uh yeah yeah. You have that dry humor. You think people are, like yeah. is he joking? Like, well, yeah, and it's yeah, a yeah. joke. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see why my family knows who I am. I see why people will be getting confused about it. Yeah. yeah. So Chaparritos de la Cuadra, thank you very much for being here. I mean, without a doubt, again, being on, on TikTok, being all over the place, y'all songs playing all over the place. I know the I don't know if y'all know and looked at the numbers, but I looked at the numbers and a few songs have like, thousands of views and things like that. And then I hope that you know y'all your project comes out great. I'm pretty sure you have plans to have more more uh, videos and stuff yeah, like that, visuals. Sure. So uh, without a doubt, hitting and having your music all over the place, I have no doubt that whenever you see your numbers, you definitely are hitting the globe, not only here in the U.S., but everywhere else. So Chaparito de la Cuadra, you definitely are a global Latin factor, man. As I mentioned earlier, I'm very proud of y'all. Uh, I know we don't know each other, but it's, it's good to see people that are doing, even as young as y'all are, mm -hmm. doing things and showing up for our people. So gracias. No, thank you for having us again. And, you know, anytime, whenever y'all need anything, come out, come out again, you know. We'll be out we'll, here. Y'all going to be where I, we talked about earlier. Yeah. Where y'all going to be doing yeah. that. Thank you very much. This was another episode of the Global Latin Factor Podcast. Remember, we are just like you. We're people. We are the spice in this melted pot. It is the world. Till next time. Pass. Thank you. Thank you very much for checking out another episode of the Global Latin Factor Podcast. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. It helps us a lot. You're already here, so give us a like, give us a subscribe, and give us a comment. We appreciate you very much. Thank you. Well, what is the Lavigo? Walks like a pedo, but in fact, it's a flamingo. Coming to Havana and from Puerto Rico. On a pirate ship, you don't know where do we go. The bird.